let me take to the individual questionnaire of HR. Now again, I'm stating this. This is for all of us to understand that 24 companies and 24 HR are there to give us this insight of how to appear. And that's the reason my triangle theory says that I have jotted down three points for every question that will be appearing on the screen so that we get the rationale of answering the question in the most logical manner rather than an unorganized way to appear in an interview. So let's begin our first question. Invariably, the first question that lands up is introduce yourself. And by the way, many a time we say that the name has been uttered by uh, the HR or not. But invariably, if it is uttered, you don't need to repeat. Don't need to repeat anything that is in the resume. But in case if the HR call you by your name, then I think you should be ready uh, by not repeating and uh, sit there consciously, uh, know what is happening. And as soon as your name is called, so do not repeat that. And what you can definitely showcase is not repeating your resume. You can first talk about your educational qualification after your name. Let's say your name is not called by the HR. So take your name. So this is Manish Nair. You can always quote your name like this, right? Instead of saying me, myself or I, this is the best way. This is Manish Nair. Okay, now educational qualification, do not repeat exactly or exact verbatim from your resume. You can say that you have done your uh, maybe SSC from, uh, from a particular place. Maybe if you have done it from Delhi, you can quote it with a percentage. Uh, tell that you have done your higher secondary from a different place and you have secured what percentage that you have secured. And the third thing that you can say is that graduation you are doing in Nagpur or maybe some other places. What you are trying to make it different is that the places that you have gone uh, makes you flexible, adaptable and that is the point to be narrated along with the educational qualification. Most of the time I recommend students not to write percentages in the resume so that that becomes a point also to discuss many a times. The second thing that you should be talking is your exposure to your domain, many a time if you are a science, commerce, arts, engineering or even a doctor and you are applying for a job, always quote your experience with your learning. What is that aspect which you have loved to do, maybe with a project, maybe as a group task, maybe as an assignment, maybe as an internship. Talk about that domain and similarly. As soon as you talk about your domain, correlate with your career objective and you can always say, sir, having worked under this domain, I have got great experience and a rich experience makes me to sit in front of you to appear for a growing company like yours where I can immediately start my career. You can correlate with this and make a logical sense here. So introduce yourself should essentially have three parameters. Let's go to the next Question. Tell us something more in case if the HR is not satisfied you answering that question sufficiently, he would definitely like to know more about you. So what you have already said, do not repeat. Instead, the first thing that you can say is where you are born and brought up. So native means your birthplace. So talk about it. The second thing that you can talk about is your family size. Never, never say that I, I have a family of four, including me. Rather, you can always say we have a, we are a family size of four members. My father works with a forest department. My mother is a housewife, a younger sister who is studying in class eight. Always make it that sound, you know, again, rationale. Talk about a hobby. The third point, you can always say that I am a great, great, fan of indoor games or an outdoor game whichever is your liking but correlate to the skill sets so why i like playing cricket or football is because i have a great liking and i learn how to uh, be disciplined first and second uh, be a team player so correlate with a skill that you have learned so i think these three points are more than enough to answer tell us something more about yourself